The U.S. Air Force's Space-Based Infrared System, or SIBRS, program completed a major program milestone, successfully delivering the Geosynchronous Earth Orbit, or GEO, satellite, Flight 4 to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. It takes a, a group of seasoned professionals uh, to handle a $1.5 billion spacecraft with kid gloves, and the folks there at Lockheed did a fantastic job to, uh, to transport the satellite from the factory out to the, uh, the tarmac at Moffett Airfield and uh, did the load up uh, onto the C-5 uh, quite successfully. And the folks at SMC who handle all the logistics working with Air Mobility Command to make sure we have the C-5 in place, uh, hats off to them for, uh, for pulling that together, having the C-5 where we needed it on time and on schedule so that we could load up the spacecraft and get it down here uh, when we needed it. It was great being on the flight. I've actually never seen a C-5 before. And what was cool for me personally was to see uh, everyone just kind of in their element, especially the load masters, and seeing how they work and work as a team. This marks the fulfillment of the original Sibbers baseline constellation and reaffirms the commitment to provide our country, warfighters and senior leaders with timely, reliable and accurate missile warning and infrared surveillance information. The delivery of GEO Flight 4 sets the path for final checkout of the space vehicle before launch. We go through multiple activities to check out the satellite to make sure that uh, there was no damage or no change in its performance from the ferry flight uh, to the Cape or the convoy transportation. Once we've validated that the satellite is meeting its requirements, uh, then we prepare it uh, to live in space. The satellite will be processed at the payload processing facility located at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. A combined government and contractor team is already executing final ground activities. Following these activities, the satellite will be fueled and prepared for integration with the Atlas V rocket. So it's early warning detection of potential threat missiles that are launched from various places around the world. There are se several that we, of course, pay attention to more than others. Um, so this is the next capability of that satellite constellation that will allow the warfighter to identify what threats are coming from which direction and will allow us and our allies to respond accordingly. The Sibbers constellation is designed to replace the legacy Defense Support Program satellite constellation. It's extremely important because we don't want any uh, gap in coverage in regard to missile warning. So uh, we have a lot of threats amongst our uh, nation and, uh, and our allies and we want to make sure that we are consistently providing the missile warning capability that's required to give us a first alert of any missile launch reporting and notifications that needs to take place to keep our nation safe. The GEO Flight 4 satellite is scheduled to launch from Cape Canaveral in January 2018.